My name is Christian Sander. I'm a software developer, sound engineer, and co-founder of the German tech startup Dear Reality. And we create advanced 3D audio and virtual acoustics technology for VR and AR. And we are working on the future of sound. So what is the future of sound? To answer that question, we have to ask, what is the future of media technology? So if we all here believe that AR will be a huge impact in the future, then the answer is obviously augmented audio or augmented sound. And then let's keep in mind what, what George Lucas already said about that. Sound is 50% the experience. And that not only applies for movies, but even more for immersive media in the future. And to underline that, I want to show a short example. Who of you in this room knows the McGursk effect? Two, three, okay. So I'm going to show you a video, uh, and you have to look at his mouse and find out which, le which letter he's telling you. Ba, 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 ba. Was a B? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. D? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. That was a V. So, what you didn't know, I guess, you heard always the same sound. It was always the same audio signal that you heard. But your eyes were interpreting his mouse moving that you were thinking that he was spelling different letters. And that shows the perception of sound totally depends on the visual side, that's bimodality. And on the other way, it also, if you watch a movie, for example, and hear another music to it, it completely changes everything, like we've seen here, the other way around. So, to conclude, the future of sound will be augmented. And that's based on 3D audio. So, who in this room have heard of 3D audio. Okay, and who of you have ever heard any binaural experience? Okay, so I'll skip fast through this, but uh, very simple introduction to 3D audio. It simulates your ears, what your ears hear and your brain perceives. And uh, first, there is a position of sound sources, far away, near, above you, below you. And, but if you hear sound sources from a specific direction, it doesn't mean that it fits the visual environment. And to fit a visual environment, it needs to have the acoustics of that environment. So acoustics is another very important part of that. So we have like some examples here with cathedral, church, cars, anything. And binaural rendering exactly does that. So um, if you hear a sound source, for example, if you, if you don't have that, you hear sound sources inside your head, and that doesn't make sense if you have, for example, CNN and VR experience, a person running there, but you hear his voice inside your head. That doesn't make sense. And on the other hand, if he's walking through a church, but you hear the acoustics of a small room, it also doesn't fit. So you won't accept that simulation if you don't have 3D audio. And that's why forma, formats like stereo or surround are no longer sufficient for VR and AR. So 3D audio technology will be implemented in any VR and AR solution in the future. So back to the question, what is augmented audio? It, an augmented sound source that might be connected to an augmented object that is augmented there should have the same direction and the same acoustics, like colorations of the room, you will, and then you will accept it more. That's the one version. The other version is you have a real sound source, like my voice, and you change the environment to an augmented environment, like a church. If you have like a visual church built around me, then my real voice should, should be processed that it sounds like a church. That's why virtual acoustics is so important for AR. So imagine you hear my voice right now 
inside your head, completely dry, then, and not from the front, from the loudspeakers. You wouldn't accept that as realistic. So, to achieve realism in the virtual space, you need to apply binaural audio and virtual acoustics. And that's exactly what our DLVR 3D audio reality engine does. So, it's a software engine for processing positional audio and many virtual acoustic presets in real time. Uh, this is a version for audio workstations like Pro Tools or Cubase. We also have a version for Unity in the Asset Store, where, you do, where we're doing real time scanning of the room geometry in VR. And for example, with Project Tango or other solutions, you will be able to measure the real world geometry and in the future apply it on AR applications also. The software is completely platform independent, so it's running on any OS. Uh, you need any pair of headphones, you can take any pair of headphones, and it runs on any VR and AR device. Um, like I said, it's implemented in Unity. We're work working on FMOD implementation. We're going to release an audio production version in very soon in the future. Uh, on, on the other hand, we're planning uh, to bring it on hardware chips for future augmented reality devices. Um, yeah, the use cases are very, there are very many use cases like games, music, 360 video, that's clear, but also telecommunication and industry implementations. Uh, a short overview of different industry use cases where 3D audio and virtual acoustics completely make sense. Um, I will later get to that. So we are part of the Startup Autobahn Accelerator, um, and we were awarded for um, by the German Ministerium for Economics for Creative Leadership and um, Unity lists our technology as VR essentials in the asset store. Um, yeah, and we're re raising a seed round at the moment, uh, which is pretty hard in Germany, I would say, but we're working hard and it's looking very good at the moment. So, what does AR sound like, is the question. Um, let me give you some examples and ask yourself what it should sound like. So, if you say this is a collaboration for VR and AR, the avatar that you might see or have there has to fit the environment. And you also have to hear the avatar from the right position where he will be standing. And if you get instru introductions or instructions where to go, where the next place is you, you have to go, you should hear the sound from that direction. And also the avatar should fit the, the environment, also acoustically that you accept it. And of course, if you have like an augmented machine or an object, it also needs to fit in the realistic space. Pretty obvious example, Pokemon Go. Of course, you should hear game objects that you can't see in your small screen. I mean, you have a field of view of 20 uh, degrees at that moment. Uh, you should hear all the other sound sources or monsters you have there. So you'll be guided to look to other places. That's very important. And of course, if in future AR games you will have very realistic graphics, also the acoustics completely have to fit. That will be very important in future AR applications. And of course, augmented audio in cars for navigation. I think the visual side uh, is becoming very famous in the future, but also the, the audio part can support or replace the visual navigation systems you will have in, in AR. So um, hearing your next stop from the distance and the right direction will be very interesting in the future. Uh, of course, warning systems for parts that you don't see behind you, how far is the car behind you away from you. That's, that's very interesting information you can provide through audio. And especially, like I said, fields not in your view. So. How will content creators for VR and AR produce immersive content in the future? So we say content creation has to take place in the media. That means AR applications will be created in AR and VR applications will be created in VR, right? Like yesterday, uh, the Unity guy announced the Unity VR editor. That totally makes sense for us because we also say on the audio side, we need to mix in VR. That's why we created the Dear VR Spatial Connect. 
uh, that we're announcing today, and you can demo it at our booth. Uh, it's a tool for mixing being in VR. And this is for 360 video and VR, but we are already planning and working on the AR version of this. So let me show you a short video of that. Having a tool like this right now really facilitates us to not be able to only uh, solve problems, but actually be able to work creatively. Hi, my name is Christian. I'm a sound engineer, software developer and co-founder of Dear Reality. We create advanced 3D audio technology. As a sound engineer, I believe mixing 3D audio for VR, you have to be in VR. So we created a great tool for any audio workstation to connect to the VR world. Usually you're controlling your mix with faders or with your mouth. But now we have a completely new workflow. You're, you're allowed to, to mix with your hands. For the first time I, I've been mixing in VR, it really helps for the workflow to quickly see um, where you position the objects and, and you can really get a much better feeling how the objects are placed and uh, especially when it comes to distance you get really get the feeling only when you're in VR. able to, to start the pre-mix in VR and transfer it to the mixing stage with Daniel was really great. And when we were working together, it was also a much better workflow. Yeah, and having the controllers makes it way more intuitive than just putting things around with a mouse or, or with a mouse pad. We created the Dear VR 3D Audio Reality Engine and released it for game engines like Unity. And we're going to release a version for audio workstations soon. But now we are closing the gap between these two worlds. Yeah, I think it's great that on the one hand you have the, uh, the 3D space and you really get a good feeling of it, like you have in, in a game engine like Unity, and then connecting that to the, to the actual VST plugin that we are used to as sound engineers and working in a DAW. And we can really change every parameter just from the Unity session directly in our DAW. That's really good. The connection between a DAW and a game engine is exactly what we've been waiting for. Okay, thank you very much.